The two began renewed hostilities between the Colombian government and FARC rebels have resulted in the death of a guerrilla commander in the state of Choco in the northwest of the country. Now the bombing follows airstrikes last week by the Colombian government, which left dozens of FARC members dead. On Monday, Commander Roman Ruiz was killed alongside four other guerrillas. The FARC says that the renewed aggressions represents a setback for the ongoing peace process taking place in Havana, Cuba. Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos says his government is still committed to peace. Si queremos la paz, if we want peace, true peace, we have to change this culture of vengeance, of retaliation, in favor of a culture of dialogue, of reconciliation. That's the only way. And as renewed confrontations between the Army and the FARC do continue, many residents fear that they will fall victim to the violence. Our correspondent Natalia Margarita reports now on how the spike in violence raises concerns for those on the sidelines. Terror, uncertainty and fear. That's how the head of Colombia's indigenous organization, Luis Arias, describes the mood among the rural population following the increase of farm air strikes and the suspension of the FARC's unilateral ceasefire, an escalation of the conflict that he believes only benefits the enemies of the peace process. Here the ones calling for war are not the ones sending their children to war, but rather this is a war being fought by the poor and the impoverished. That is why we are calling on the whole Colombian population to raise awareness on the issue of war and to mobilize in favor of peace, in favor of silencing the rifles. And as the continued air strikes by the army have left another 10 far guerrillas dead, the Colombian citizens continue to suffer the harshness of warfare. At least 352 residents from the rural areas of Cauca traveled the state have been forced to flee their homes as confirmed by the local Obudsman. There is a strong offensive against campesino, indigenous and Afro-descendant communities. The airstrikes, the machine gunning and in general all the military escalation is damaging our communities. We are strongly demanding the civilian population to be respected. The conflict escalation comes as the FARC's unilateral ceasefire was entering its sixth month and a relative calm was beginning to be felt in Colombia's countryside. Now the residents of these areas continue to call for a bilateral ceasefire, which for them is a necessity rather than a whim. Those living in the cities think that the war zones are not those zones where the campesinos are. That is not the case. The war zone is right where the campesinos transit, where they cultivate, where they milk the cows. So the damages are all over their surroundings. And if the bombs were falling on your house, this is the question displayed on these signs that peace advocates have been placing all around Bogotá in an attempt to raise awareness on the impacts that airstrikes and in general armed confrontation have over the lives of rural residents in Colombia. Natalia Margarita, Telesur, Bogotá.